Hey folks, Alan Mandic, the Hot Rod Hippie here, coming to you with a new product, the Snap-on Thermal Imager Elite EETH310. What can having Predator Vision do for your diagnostic process? We'll find out a little bit in this video. So in today's video, we're taking a look at that Snap-on EETH310 Diagnostic Thermal Imager Elite. Man, that is a mouthful. A thermal imager is an advanced diagnostic tool, but it is a really handy diagnostic tool. It can allow you to check all kinds of things around a house. If you're working in construction, you can check windows for air leaks, see if they're properly insulated, if walls are properly insulated. HVAC, you can check for proper duct flow. You can check a, a thermal transfer unit, see if it's bottlenecking somewhere, if it's got hot spots in it. And then, of course, in the automotive world, there's so many things you can use for seat heaters, defrosters, ducting for your AC, Ignition coils, alternators, water pumps. There's just so many uses on a car that you could have for this thing. It's an advanced diagnostic tool. It's not an entry level tool, but it is a tool that will allow you to see the world with a thermal image overlay. And that is a powerful tool. A little over a year ago, I took a look at the previous version of this. You can check out link up here for the full product review on that. I might not go quite as in depth in this video. I'm a little under the weather. That's why I'm coming to you from my office this week. First, I'm gonna break down the specifications of the new elite version of the thermal imager. Then I'm gonna tell you what the differences between the previous version and the new version are. Then finally, I'm gonna tell you my personal take on this thing after using it for a few days, see what I really think about it. Now, the biggest upgrade from this new design, this new version has dual cameras. The dual camera design allows for IR thermal pickup and also a regular normal image, what your eye sees. It takes these two images and overlays them on top of each other to create a better resolution, a more defined image. The image resolution on this is 480 by 272. That's very close to a four to three aspect ratio, which is the old square style of TV aspect ratio that we're used to back in the 90s and earlier. The Elite has Wi-Fi built in. The Wi-Fi functionality allows it to access a cloud service where it can upload your images automatically to that cloud service. You can easily pull those images off of there and show them to customers, send them to customers, attach them to work orders, or anything like that where you might have a need for your paperwork. The whole tool has this rubber overmold design, which is quite nice. It feels good, it's nice and grippy. It feels like it's meant to be a high quality tool used in an automotive shop. At the top of the tool, there is a little rubber flap there that you can lift up. There's a micro SD card slot underneath of there. The tool itself comes with a micro SD card and also has a micro USB charge port, which you can use to offload images to your computer or just charge the tool. The lithium ion battery is not removable, but it is rechargeable in unit and it has a four hour runtime at a 50% brightness on the screen. This has a large 4.3 inch display on it. So it's a nice large display. You can really get a good view of the tool. And it also has a built-in light too. So you can use that to light up your work area. The temperature range on this thing is from negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 840 degrees Fahrenheit on the upper end. The tool also has a couple of different functions that are really handy. Emissivity setting. Emissivity is the shining point of a tool like this in my opinion. If you're normally using an infrared thermometer to pick up your temperatures, so you can just shine that thing right on whatever you're trying to pick up the temperature of, that is not actually that accurate of a tool in a lot of automotive applications. If you're using it on a black object, great. But if you're shining it on an aluminum cylinder head or a ceramic coated header tube, it is not, not going to be accurate. It will be wildly inaccurate. If you're working with these polished objects like cylinder heads or intake manifolds, the light scatters, it bounces, it doesn't pick up properly off of those. This thermal imager can actually be set for that specific application. You can set this one to, I believe, five or six different emissivity settings for shiny chrome objects on down to black objects that are either painted black or just dark in scale, like mill scale on steel. So in that way, this thing is very versatile and will give you more accurate readings than your infrared thermometer could in overall applications. The Elite can also record 20 second video clips. So if maybe something only happens temperature wise when it's switching or an object needs to be in motion to really see the heat of it, you can record short video clips in AVI format to show a customer or to just diagnose your problem. The manufacturer price on this is $1,895. So it is not an entry level tool by any means. The last specification I'm gonna give you on this tool itself is that it has 4,800 thermal image points. That's 4,800 points where it picks up thermal image from 
in that overall resolution. Now that 4800 is a good jumping off point to go ahead and segue over to talking about the differences between the new model and the previous model. So let's go ahead and do that. I say that because the 4800 is the same thermal image points you get between both models. That tells me that the thermal image sensor in this thing is the same as it was in the previous model. It is not an upgraded design as far as the thermal image is concerned. You also have the same four hour runtime of the lithium ion battery. You have the same micro SD slot on these things. You also have a micro USB port on both of them. And it comes with a micro USB cable and a wall wart to go ahead and charge this thing with and they both come in a blow molded tray, not a carry case of any kind. Now let's talk about the differences. The biggest differences are you get the larger 4.3 inch display screen. That second camera is a huge difference because it allows that overlay of a normal image with the thermal image to give a better dynamic view of the world. You also have the light to light up the work area. You have the Wi-Fi to go ahead and automatically upload to the cloud for the images. And you have the ability to record the videos on the new tool, which you did not have on the old tool. Okay, we've waded through the specifications. Let's talk about what I really think of this tool. To me, this is the tool that Snap-on should have released over a year ago when they released that previous thermal imager. They learned from their mistakes on that one and they released a far superior product in this case. That dual camera functionality really allows for a much better definition image. It's still a low definition image at a 480 resolution with a 4-3 aspect ratio, but it allows for a much more defined image. You can really tell what's in that picture better than you could with the previous model. This is really great, so if you're showing this image to a customer, they may not understand what the red blob is versus the green blob, the blue blob, whatever you're showing them in the picture, but they will better understand it if they can make out the parts themselves. Oh, that's my alternator. Oh, that's my ignition coil. I understand that a little bit better now. Now, something I didn't like about this tool is that the videos that you can take with the tool do not upload to the cloud via Wi-Fi. I don't know why that is. I could not find any way to make it force it to do so. You can go through the images saved on the, the tool itself. You'll see the images have a little cloud with a check mark next to them saying that they went to the cloud. The videos don't have that and there's no way to force them to but I could find. I'm going to contact Snap-on and ask them what that's about but at the moment it doesn't seem that that's functionality that the tool has. So overall this is the tool that Snap-on should have released a year ago but you're not getting the upgraded thermal resolution. It's the same as the previous model, which is like, as best I can tell, it's like 80 by 60 thermal resolution, which there are very affordable 80 by 60 thermal imagers on the market, not with nearly as large of a display, not with all the functionality that this tool has, but they do exist if you don't want to spend this much money. The only thing that I really, really don't like about this tool, the same thing I didn't like about the previous one is this tray. That's it. You don't get a carry case. You don't get a blow molded clamshell case that you can store this thing. You just get this tray. This is great for sitting on the shelf in a tool truck, but it's not great for sitting in a toolbox. It takes up too much space the way it is. It's going to break down over time because this plastic just breaks over time. It's, it's silly. It should come with a carry case. It should come with a box to put it in. It's almost $2,000. The fact that it doesn't come with that is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. You can get a FLIR tool, the E4, has a nice large display, not quite as large as this one, but you have the same thermal image resolution on that. You get dual cameras on that as well. That also has a shutter on it that blocks off the camera so you don't have to worry about them getting dirty or damaged. All that and the tool is half the price of this $1,895 Snap-on tool. Now that said, you are normally buying a tool like this from a distributor. $1,895 is the MSRP if you jumped on the website and you bought it right now. There are sales all the time on diagnostic tools from Snap-on. There are trade-in deals. There's things you can do to get the price of this thing down. If you can get this thing down to like the price of the previous model at the $13.95, I believe that that one went for, I would say this is worth picking up at that point. You can put it on your Snap-on credit. You can make your truck payments for it. There is an argument to be made that you could pick this up. To summarize, to break this down, this thing is a much improved design over the previous one. The Elite is a better tool. It is what I wish the previous model had been. I wish it was selling at the price of the previous model. I think they really should have just done away with the, the lower end one. It is still available to purchase. They should have really done away with that and just replaced it with this one, make it version two, and that's that in my opinion. That's their call. All right, folks, that is the video on the Snap-on EETH310 Diagnostic Thermal Imager Elite. <sighs> that tool is a really interesting tool. It's a much improved design over the previous one. It's up to you whether it's worth it for you. Drop the video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this tool? What do you think of this idea of having a thermal imager? Do you see a use for it in your construction business, your HVAC, your automotive diagnostic needs? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. 
Subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.